Hey guys, Paul from Stain Out Systems here, and I am going to show you how to take your Gen 2 gun and adapt it to the upholstery spray gun kit. So, real simple. What you're going to want to do is here's how you're going to see your gun. This is your gun that leads to the sprayer. So you're going to want to cut back, not, not too far down. You're going to cut back maybe, maybe six inches at the most, at the most. I'd say we're about four or five inches here. Um, with this one, this one has the wire braid. So if yours does not, you do not need to do this step. Uh, if it does, you're going to want to trim off the, the metal in the spring. Now what your kit is going to come with is you're going to have your upholstery gun already has a quick disconnect on it. You will find two clamps. These are pinch clamps. Uh, these are pretty nice. You'll need a tool like this for pinching it. If you don't have this type of tool, you can always substitute these out with a worm gear clamp, which is something like this. Um, these are fine. They're just a little bulky. That's why I like the pinch clamps, but these are fine too. You're also going to get a sleeve, two sleeves. These are heat shrink and same thing just to kind of cover it and give it a nice, nice look. So first thing you're going to do is, is, uh, go ahead and slide on your, your pinch clamp and we'll put the male end over here. So if you have any problem putting this on, a heat gun works well, or putting it into some soapy water does a job too. So now this would get uh, clamped on. And then we'd sleeve this like that. And then we'll use our heat gun to warm that up, shrink it in place. Now on the other side where you cut, you're gonna put your female end. Make sure you put your clamp on first. And then we'll put our heat shrink on. And same thing, you'd heat that up. And that's all there is to it. Now you can disconnect your gun and you can connect to an upholstery tool. So there you go, it's that simple.